an amino acid plus an amino acid plus an amino acid equals a chain. And when you have a small chain, you have a peptide. And when you have a large chain, you have a protein. Let's get out the Legos. Hey there, guys. We're amino acids. We're just simple little building blocks of proteins. But sometimes, when we get together, we form a bond. Oh, it's so nice for us to be bonded. And then we form another bond. Oh, we're bonded. And that makes us a peptide. A small chain of amino acids. But what if other people want to play along? What if they want to make a bond? Well, at that point, when you've taken your building blocks, amino acids, and made something called a polypeptide, which would be a protein. Protein is the building blocks of the body and of life. Peptides. When an amino acid forms a bond with another amino acid, you've got a peptide. Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fast Facts Friday. Today we're talking about peptides. All right, let's start with the basics, what we already know. What is a peptide? It's a chain of amino acids, but not just any chain, a small chain. And to be specific, on the Dalton scale, which we know is the scale used to measure what the skin absorbs, is less than 10. That's right, those peptides have to be less than 10 to be considered a peptide. Now, when it gets to be a larger chain, it's called a polypeptide, and that's when it gets into the, the category of being a protein. Now, why is this interesting? Well, it's interesting because to topically apply peptides, we know they're going to be absorbed. Whereas if we topically apply proteins, we know that they may soften the skin, but they're not going to be absorbed. So anytime we know the skin absorbs something, there's the potential that it does something. So what are the current claims on the market that peptides do in skincare? Well, they claim that they're anti-aging ingredients in skincare. Now, the minute you hear anti-aging, you should automatically go, hmm, because is anything really gonna get rid of these wrinkles or boost up this collagen that significantly? Hmm, probably not. And we also know that anti-aging in skincare usually equals, that's right. So, of course, when you hear anti-aging, they're talking about collagen. Now, collagen is made up of amino acids, so it's plausible, right, that peptides could possibly do something to boost that collagen. But do they? Hmm, I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right, now, a couple products on the market I wanted to talk about was this product. You see, the reason I started kind of like thinking about peptides and wanting to investigate it was because one of my favorite Instagrammers, Marcia from Skin Minimalist, she uses a lot of Neod products. And lately, because I've kind of softened up on my um, rigid green rules, I've been investigating Neod. I was pretty interested in them last year around this time, but I didn't further investigate it because pretty much all of their products are scientific words. Um, but now that I've softened up, I'm really ready to use a smaller amount of products that are effective, that are targeting a certain type of skincare I'm going for. Um, and Marcia really likes the Copper Amino Isolate Serum. She posts about it pretty frequently, so I'm like, hmm. And if you didn't know, you should follow her on Instagram, she's awesome. But if you didn't know, she is a full-time scientist. So, here we have a girl who's been using this product for quite a amount of time. Plus, she's a scientist and she likes this product. She has me intrigued. So I'm gonna kinda take you along with me as I research a topic so you can see how I do it. So basically I start with the definition of what is a peptide, reading up on what it does in the body, uh, refreshing my mind about the things that it is and is not capable of doing. Now. Let's talk about some of the claims of this product. The, um, they call it Kais. So this uses copper tripeptide. 
Um, they said as a highly focused effort to maintain healthy looking skin, this serum offers a novel approach to target all signs of aging indirectly. This concentrated serum departs from the traditional thinking of addressing visible aspects of skin aging individually and instead forms a foundation to respect skin health. Okay, so very intriguing, right? Well, we're gonna investigate this. Now, what is interesting is they're basically saying, indirectly, they're gonna combat all signs of anti-aging. This product is 30 mLs for $90. Now, just do a quick Google search, and you're gonna come up with Paula's Choice, extremely highly revered in the skincare world, who basically says that copper peptides factor fiction she says fiction. To quote directly from the website, speaking of a single skincare ingredient being overly hyped, copper peptide is certainly one of them. The spin begins with the notion that the skin's building blocks are assembled by copper, so the logic would follow that you must have copper peptide in your skincare products to get that benefit. Although it's true copper peptide is a skin restoring ingredient, there are lots of other peptides with equally, if not more impressive properties. <sighs> we have so much to research, don't we? I'm excited and I'm gonna take you along with me. So what I wanted to show right there was basically that, again, not everyone agrees. Here you have a very expensive product making very bold claims. Um, and then you have another very well-respected, very popular skincare formula over here saying, ah, no. So what do we gotta do? Look at the research. All right, guys, so stay tuned next week, let's figure out if we need peptides in our skincare. I'll see you back on Monday with Mask It Monday.